Hi there, this is David with AppWorks. Um, I'm going to go through another FileMaker cool trick for you now. And this one involves reducing a container field's file size. So the contents of a container field can be reduced um, to whatever size you specify using the get thumbnail function. Um, and what this does is it actually specifies a, a file size, dimensions, and it will reduce, it'll extract a thumbnail image from a larger image. But you can also use that thumbnail image to replace the existing image if you just want to make it crunched down. Um, so, for example, we have here um, a JPEG. It's 160K. It's 1600 by 1600 pixels. I'm going to drop it into this container field. And we can see here, I put a little button bar down here. And in this button bar, it calculates the file size using the get container attribute file size. And then it ca calculates the size of the uh, actual file that's in the container um, using width and uh, length. So I've set up this little button here to reduce the file size and I'll just show you what this does. It's just a simple one step. This field is called image. Um, we're going to set the field product image to the value get thumbnail and we specify the field that we want to get a thumbnail from so we're getting it from the exact field that we're actually looking at, and then you specify the width and the height. So um, you could also specify things like get the width and reduce it by 50% and get the height and reduce it by 50% or any other calculation you want. But in this case, I'm just going to make it 768 pixels by 768 pixels. Um, and that's really all it does. And since I'm actually going to set the field itself, with the same image that we pulled from it, it's going to replace the old one. And that's all it's going to do. So if you look here, and we've got this at 1600 by 1600 pixels, as soon as I hit reduce, now it's 768 by 768. And if you pull this down, you can see that this file is the old one, 160K, and this one is 86K and only um, 768 by 768. So that's basically it. You can use this uh, to actually create a thumbnail for really large images and display just the thumbnail for users, especially if it's cloud hosted, that can actually save them a lot of bandwidth. And then when they really wanna see the full fledged image, they can click on the full image and it will only download it at that point. So the get thumbnail is really useful and um, I actually use it to crunch down files pretty regularly. So I hope that's a useful trick and uh, we'll see you for the next one.